moving forward. <coughs> but let's see, you didn't turn over you. The kilojoules of kilojoules per kilomole Kelvin. We don't like my J, don't you? Okay. No problem. Kilojoules per kilomole Kelvin. Okay, so we understand this thus far. So the reason <coughs> the reason we have to use this equation is essentially to get this gas constant for my ideal gas law. So how do we convert? Like I said, you can't solve the problems with the uh, uh, mole fractions or you can solve them with mass fractions, plus you, but how do you convert from mole fraction to mass fraction to mass fraction to mole fraction? So it's pretty straightforward. So what's between mass and mole fractions? <clears throat> We're gonna be doing an example. I just need to list the equations before we get to the example. So, we know the definition of my mole fraction is equal to ni over n total. And I know my definition of my mass fraction is mi over n total. So if I go and say, let's multiply the mass fraction, so multiply the mass fraction by uh, the molecular weight of each individual species divided by the molecular weight of the total. So what am I gonna get? I'm gonna get the molecular weight over of each individual species over the total multiplied by xi. Now you don't have to know the derivation but I'm just driving it for you and I'm gonna write, write the final equation. I'm not gonna quiz you on the derivation. and total times molecular weight of the total. And that's going to equal to, um, if you look at the definition of right here, ni mwi is equal to m total divided by m total, which is going to equal to the mass fraction. So all I did was multiply the individual molecular weight of each species divided by the total. So I can write a general equation form and say, so from this, this is this is how you got to that stage. But the final equation that you're going to be using is MWI over MW total multiplied by XI is equal to YI. That's the final equation that we're going to use. Question. Why I am total yeah. divided by uh, <laughs> mi? Sorry. Yeah. This is the. Oh, it's, it's not the sum. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Mi over m total. I think I've yeah I looked at this and I just put mi. Mi over m total. Thank you for catching that. Okay. So another aspect that we need to uh, sort of take into consideration, so that highlights how much mass I have for each species, how I can decompose it. Although things are mixing, I need to be able to analyze the individual species that I have, whether fuel and air in a sense. Um, and air is composed of nitrogen and oxygen, we'll get, get to that shortly, but uh, the, uh, I can decompose whatever mixture that I have into individual species. And that's very important because if I'm gonna be actually combusting, I need to know how much fuel and air that I have, or in reality, how much fuel and oxygen, because with combustion, you need fuel and oxidizer. So, 
With that taken into consideration, there's also pressure variations that is associated with these species because they have, let's face it, different densities and so forth. So uh, we're going to use the uh, Dalton's law for additive pressures. And saying that if I have some mixture right here, I have P total, V total as a volume total, T total of the mixture that we got out of mixing the two gases, N total, and M total, total mass and total uh, uh, moles that I have. And what Delton's law says that the pressure of I species Ti is equal to Mi, the gas constant for that species, multiplied by the total temperature divided by V total. I could decompose this further because I already said that, if I just move this slightly here, I already said that I could get it in terms of my uh, universal gas constant and then my total molecular weight. So just substitute our I inside. And what am I gonna get for an equation there? It's the number of moles or the, the uh, moles for that species divided by the universal gas constant times T total divided by V total. Okay, so from this I could say that Dalton's law for average pressures the total pressure of my mixture now is equal to my summation of my species of each individual pressure of species. And that summation, if I take the ratio of PI over P total, is going to give me my mole fraction. So essentially, think of it this way. I have two individual pressures for two species. I mix them together, I get a total pressure. But how do I decompose the individual pressures of each species? Well, using the either mass fraction-based approach or the mole fraction, you're going to get the same answer. So if you prepare mass fraction, just use this equation. If you prepare mole fraction, use this equation. OK? All right. So 